I'm here with Danny the King Koenig, one of the UND swim coaches here, and he is the king, but he's getting down to my level a little bit because I'm so short, so thanks for that. But you're going to show me how to do what today? Breaststroke today. All right. Breast stroke. All right, well, let's get in the water. Do it. <laughs> so a couple things that we're looking for in the breaststroke kick, good range of motion, bringing the heels all the way up, snapping it until they come all the way through. The other thing that we're really trying to do is get her hips to push up every time um, at the end of each kick. Uh, it plays into how the stroke is. It's all about getting up and above the water so with, that when she brings her arms through, her uh, hips will also come through and kind of follow that motion. But she can help herself out with the kick as well. So when, you, when your heels are up by your butt, your knees should be close together. She points her toes out and she snaps them all the way around until her heels and her toes are touching back together again. It's good range of motion. She's moving as much water as she possibly can and then her hips are coming up at the end of each kick. It'll help her out a lot in her stroke. So the breaststroke pull, what we're looking for, the way they teach it when you're a kid is that you're gonna make a peach, come through, and you're gonna cut the peach It's the same thing even though we're in college, it's gonna do it to a little bit more of an advanced degree. So she's gonna pull with both hands equally at the same time. At some point she's gonna turn her hands in, moving water in towards her body, which is gonna help elevate her above the water, and then she's gonna come through over the top of the water back to her starting position. All right, let's see it. So she's even got the breaststroke kick in there with the timing down, which is a good start. We'll talk about that in a little bit. One of the things that we have to get you to do is get your head down at the end of each stroke. So as your arms come through, your head's gonna come down as well. What that's gonna do is something we talked about earlier with getting your hips up. If her head is down, it's gonna be a lot easier for her hips to get up and she won't be dragging her lower half through the water as she does breaststroke. So it's periods of moving and periods of waiting. She's gonna move with her arms to get the momentum coming forward, and as she comes through, she won't be moving herself forward with her arms anymore, so that's when the legs take over. She'll pull, take a breath, come through, and kick to finish the stroke out, hopefully in this streamlined position. Feet, toes and heels together, head between the arms, just like that. Dan, the king, Koenig. So I learned how to do the breaststroke, but what happens when I get to a wall? Uh, when you get to the wall, we do open turns, two hand touch turns. Oh, well, that'll be next time. We'll see you next time.